but it's just really 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 hard for me to get motivated when I'm depressed to get on this motorcycle whatsoever. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Does riding your motorcycle help with stress, anxiety, and depression? Let's jump on the bike and talk about it a little bit. All right, like I said in the intro, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about stress, anxiety, and depression. And does riding your motorcycle eliminate any of it? Now, we'll start with stress since that's the most simple. Everybody gets stress pretty much every day, especially a man. You've got a lot of stuff to worry about, job, family, you name it. There's tons of stuff to worry about, I'm sure, to make your stress level go up. So I will say, stress for me, motorcycle riding will eliminate stress for me. I mean, it, it absolutely does because that's something easy to get rid of, at least for an hour or two three or four hours or a long trip whatever you can get rid of stress it's pretty easy and y'all can leave a comment down below if you deal with stress does riding your motorcycle or going out moto camping or doing whatever does it eliminate your stress does it help with it and we'll move on to the second part which is anxiety now i know a lot of people out there a lot of y'all probably don't deal with anxiety me personally i deal with anxiety and depression now i'm not gonna go down a big rabbit hole telling you on a personal level of why I deal with them things because um, I don't want to get that personal but as far as anxiety goes I don't really know where it comes from I don't know if anybody really does people have different forms of anxiety which social anxiety or well, there's lots of different ones I don't I haven't done a lot of studying on it so I don't really know but I know personally I get really high anxiety and which causes stress which causes depression it goes all goes hand in hand and as far as on a personal level as far as anxiety goes riding a motorcycle helps it some but sometimes it don't and sometimes the anxiety will get so bad that i don't even feel like riding a motorcycle and getting out even getting motivated to do it now once i'm on it a lot of things melt away because like i said you get to look at this stuff i know this ain't mountainous and all that but you get to go down a dirt road play on your motorcycle go moto camping and just act like a big kid and that brings you back to your childhood which is when you don't have a lot of that stress and anxiety so just takes you back down to that level and so it helps me a lot y'all can leave comments down below if you deal with it and like i said you don't have to get personal because i'm not gonna get real personal with you on it because uh just don't want to go down like i said down that rabbit hole of getting too personal but i do deal with it and this stuff helps so maybe talking to y'all about it will make it a little better but like i said we we tried this I try to do all this stuff for fun and be crazy because it melts all that stuff away from me. So, I mean, it helps a lot. So definitely drop comments down below if if you feel like you can. And, and if you deal with that kind of stuff, I'd like to hear from you for sure. And that brings us to the third part of this video, which is depression. Now me on a personal level, I definitely deal with depression. I know a lot of people probably don't, but there's a lot of people that do. Now for me personally, if I'm in a depressed mood, I have absolutely no desire to put on any gear and go out on a motorcycle ride whatsoever. Now, if I can force myself to do it, riding a motorcycle definitely helps, especially like a couple day trip out with Timmy, acting like a big kid and acting like a fool, dogging this motorcycle out. I mean, that, that helps, but it's just really, really, really hard for me to get motivated when I'm depressed to get on this motorcycle whatsoever and definitely if y'all deal with that stuff if there's different ways you get over that definitely drop a comment on that one because sometimes i don't know i don't know what to do when, it's, when it hits me hard to actually want to get out and get on this motorcycle and do any kind of riding or especially film a youtube video and this one right here is kind of hard for me to film i know it might not sound like it but i don't even know if it'll see the light of day if it does you're hearing it and you're seeing it right now but um it's something i normally don't talk about to everybody because like i said no all these other videos you see like there's no way that guy's depressed but and got anxiety and all this stuff and stress but i got tons of it and i deal with it all the time been dealing with it probably i know my whole adult life and like i said it just it gets me down and i don't want to get on the motorcycle at all and do anything yeah, I don't even want to do anything outside of motorcycle stuff, much less 
this motorcycle stuff, especially, like I said, filming a YouTube video and editing a YouTube video. I put a lot of stress on myself for that kind of thing, but when I'm depressed, I don't feel like doing any of it. But if I can get over that hump and get myself out here, and then I, I enjoy it and all that stress, anxiety, and depression, it, sometimes it'll melt away. And sometimes if I'm on a multiple day trip, all of it comes rushing back in, especially like the anxiety and depression, which will cause stress because I guess I got some separation anxiety from being leaving my wife at home, my daughter at home, taking care of everything. And that's just on just a two day trip. So I get ready for like a two week trip that I'm planning on later this year. If that all gets to happen, that's, that's going to be a really hard thing for me to deal with, with you know the anxiety and stuff to separate myself from my wife and kid and my house and everything for that long it's just it's gonna be really hard but it's something i want to do and something i think i need to do to overcome all that stuff because i think you just become a better person when you overcome that stuff and i know this sounds stupid and a lot of some of y'all might agree but motorcycles especially this adventure motorcycle stuff because i've been riding motorcycles for 30 years all different types harleys street bikes crotch rockets dirt bikes i've did it all but this adventure bike stuff and getting out and doing this moto camping these multiple day trips this stuff will build your character up like no other i'm not even kidding you like it'll teach you a lot about yourself uh, I, I never thought it really would do that but it's just being so vulnerable i guess to the elements and all that stuff so it will teach you a lot about yourself and i know this is going down to whole nother subject but it all leads to fighting that depression anxiety and stress is just making yourself stronger and building yourself up to be a better person and something as simple as this motorcycle and going on these adventures will do it and hell it sometime even youtube will do it all the comments from all y'all out there some of these pod, all the positive comments I, I love them and hell even the negative ones i got to deal with them so but it's It'll definitely build some character and build you up. So if it does the same for you, or if it helps you with stress, anxiety, depression, getting out on your motorcycle and riding, please drop a comment in the comment section. And I'd love to hear about it and see what y'all deal with or what you don't deal with. And hopefully all the comments be positive. If not, I'll deal with them when they get them. Y'all, it totally worked today. It melted my stress, anxiety, and depression away. So I'm glad I forced myself to get out here and do some riding because it totally worked. So I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all listening to me. If you hadn't already, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new content comes out. And we'll see y'all in the next one.